you go in Daytona, the Xfinity Series. Now, what are your thoughts right now? Uh, I mean, just excited to get back on track, you know. It's always a long off season. And you get down to the Speedway on Monday, and, and uh, you really just uh, can't, you, you watch a lot of racing on TV and, on, you know, on the track, and you're just waiting to get out there. So, finally, to, to get in the seat and get the engines fired uh, for the Xfinity Series season, uh, it's just uh, it's really exciting and, and uh, long time coming. Yeah, so it's a new year for you, almost like a new chapter of your life, you know, is that is that how you view this, you know, a new partnership, new team, is this a new chapter in your life? Yeah, I think it's just a, it's a rebuilding here, you know, I've kind of been in a, in a slump here lately, so uh, it's time to it's time to get going and turn my career around, so it's definitely, uh, definitely a rebuilding year, a, a year to build confidence back, and, um, you know, I, I don't think I could be at any better of a place uh, than Junior Motorsports. Obviously, you spent you know about five years in the Xfinity Series. You know, a few years ago, it's been a while. The cars have changed a lot. Do you still feel like that that benefits you for this year? Yeah, I think um, taking taking the blows that I did and the humbling experience in the Cup Series. Uh, no matter how the cars drive, I think uh, just being at that level of competition, coming back uh, to the Xfinity Series is going to be uh, going to be a, a big benefit. But um, excited to get to Atlanta too and really see how these cars are handling because like you said they have changed and in Daytona it's not really a good testament to, to where the cars are at so um, always always love being at Daytona and start of the season but really even looking more forward to Atlanta and, and getting a mile and a half. Yeah one of those humbling experiences you got injured here um, I believe in 2013 now when something like that obviously concussions are always in the news with Dale Jr. and things so what was your experience with that night? Did that, did that change anything when it came to racing? No I don't think I think it just makes you appreciate it more you know when you you sit out you know three months for the off season and then the first race of the year you get injured and you're out for three more months really makes you appreciate what we get to do so um it doesn't change anything about the way i drive or the way i, I you know look at, at look look at racing just like i said it it just really makes you uh you know appreciate being at the racetrack being around your team and being in that seat All right so you're going from racing Dale Jr. and now racing for him. So what was your experience, your relationship with him before then? And uh, what, how has it been, you know, throughout this offseason? I mean, we really didn't have that, that big of a relationship. And, you know, definitely not a bad one. Right. Just not a whole lot of communication. Uh, but, um, you know, in the offseason, getting to know him and, and just really getting to know the whole organization, you know, Kelly and LW and, and, and uh, Ryan Pemberton, everybody that kind of runs the ship, um, getting to know them and getting that relationship uh, has been a lot of fun and, and just made made the, uh, you know, going into this 2017 season even more exciting. When did you first meet Dale? Oh, it was, it was really early on in my uh, Xfinity Series career. We, uh, we were doing a fan night here in Daytona sometime in, in, in January. And um, we got put up on the stage together and, and kind of went around doing the, the various things. So that, I think that was the first time I had any communication with him. Right. You spent three years in Cup the last three years. Um, didn't go the way you wanted. Did your confidence struggle? Uh, definitely. Yeah. I think uh, I think it would for any race car driver. And, uh, you know, sitting on my coach on Saturdays and watching what uh, my teammate Justin Allgaier uh, who was my teammate the year before, watching him bounce right back and, and show success and a lot of speed uh, really made me kind of sit back and say, you know, maybe maybe it isn't such a, a confidence there for getting how to do this. Uh, just need to be in the, the right team, the right equipment. So if Justin didn't have, maybe didn't have such a great year last year in Xfinity, would that maybe have changed your plans? Or, or was that, were you really looking closely on how he performed? Oh, it wasn't so much on how Justin performed. It was more just... I was I was looking at a team that I felt I could go to and have success right away because that's what it, like we talked about that it is a rebuilding year so that's something that needed to happen right away D don't have a lot of time to, to drag our feet gotta gotta be fast right out of the gate so um, j just watching you know the whole sport and where I thought that that rebuilding year could be and that confidence building year could be and um, you know looking at the Xfinity series there's some good good rides and good equipment available and that just made more sense than some of the, the rides that were available in Cup. Yeah. In Cup, do you feel like you weren't being recognized? Uh, probably. I mean, uh, I mean, just the way the way our sport is. If you're not in the top ten, you're you're not on TV. You're not talked about. Um, you know, and that's all most of our fans see is what's on TV. So they don't show the guy in 30th very often. So uh, definitely, you could use that as a, a good term. Yeah. Is there anything in the Cup Series you think you're going to miss? At least for this year, for the time being. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I mean, it's just being at the pinnacle of our sport. You know, you, 
you, you make it to the top and, and you feel like you're there and then you, you take a step back down so uh, definitely uh, gonna gonna miss just be, knowing I'm driving in the premier series of our sport gonna miss that but uh, it hopefully it, uh, it won't be long until we're back there yeah seems like there's a more mature and knowledgeable Michael Annette coming to the Xfinity Series this year. Do you feel like you have to prove yourself? I, I definitely think so. Like I said, we got to be fast right out of the gate. Um, otherwise, you really do have to sit back and, and rethink things. So um, I definitely think, uh, you know, I, I've learned a lot. I, I use the word humble. You know, definitely uh, been humble the past three years. So um, I think I think from where I left three years ago to, to where I am now, uh, definitely more mature. Uh, a better head on my shoulders and, and just, you know, respect the sport a lot more than I did. Right. With Sadler and William and Justin and yourself, so many varying experiences there. Where do, where do you feel like you fill in, you know? It seems like it's going to be a really interesting combination this Yeah, year. I think, uh, obviously, Elliot's the veteran, uh, has the most experience, the most success. I, I put Justin and I right there together. And then uh, William, obviously, uh, is just as fast as any of us, maybe faster, and uh, you know he's gonna he has a really good shot at winning a championship even though he is a rookie he, he'll probably have the rookie pains that every rookie does but you know he'll bounce back the next week and probably go win a race All right what's the pressure like for this year you know maybe when we come down to november you don't have the year that you want not as successful you know what would your mindset be at that point? yeah i mean there, there's probably more pressure this year than than i've ever had just because of of uh you know, like I, I said, the equipment I'm in, the expectations of what, where we should be running, what, what we should accomplish. So, um, you know, if you don't accomplish that, you, you're going to feel like a failure. So, there's definitely uh, there's definitely more pressure this year than ever. So, if I if I don't meet my goals, it's going to be just a lot of disappointment for sure. So, um, you know, it's just it's kind of the mindset I have. Uh, you know, and and that I think the mindset I have is what puts the pressure on. Yeah. So a few fun questions and some photos. So. What was your first NASCAR race you went to as a fan? Uh, it was it was uh, Chicago Land uh, Xfinity Series race. I just started racing late models. Uh, it was probably probably ten years ago. I remember Casey Mears won it. Really? Okay. Um, what was the favorite Cup race you had in your career? Favorite Cup race? Yeah. That's a tough one. Uh, I think um, I think there was a race my first my rookie year in Cup at uh, it was at Kentucky, and I was driving that seven car and. You know, stayed on the lead lap all, all night, ran a top 25 all night, and that, that really didn't happen a whole lot those three years. So I think that night was probably the, the most promising and best run I had. Yeah. And why do you race? Oh, I think it's just the thrill of the sport and, and competition. You know, I think everybody out here is huge competitors, and then you just add in the fact that we like speed, we like, uh, you know, we, we like the competition. So uh, that, that's the biggest thing, and, and just to... Uh, you know, you look around the garage, and it's just a huge family, and you see a lot of familiar faces each each place we go, and uh, it's it's just uh, it's just a fun experience all around. Yeah. So I got a few photos throughout your career. Just tell me you now what that experience was like, and maybe some backstory. So here's the first one here. Yep. Yeah. So this was pretty cool because yeah. it's such a iconic deal. You know, back in the olden days, every, after qualifying, everybody took that picture, and. Uh, you know, it, just to be able to be a part of history and be able to do that again and just have a picture of you in front of a cup car at, at, at you know, Daytona International Speedway is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah flip it this one. Oh, this, uh, this was cool uh, for two reasons. First time I ever raced on dirt. Yeah. And uh, to have uh, TMC on the truck, that's, uh, you know, means a lot to my family, a lot of history in, in those colors. So to be able to put that on a, on a, a vehicle and NASCAR and be racing on dirt was a really cool experience. Right. And our last last one here. Uh, th this was uh, this was just a really fun year. Yeah. Uh, we had our ups and downs, but Stephen Wallace is one of my uh, one of my best friends, and then obviously uh, his relationship with his uh, with his uncle and, and everybody's relationship with with Herm uh, just. Uh, just a really fun year. Like I said, we had our ups and downs. We were fast at times and off a little bit at times, but uh, we were always having fun. Yeah. Definitely appreciate your time. Uh, best of luck this week. Right. Thank, Thank you very much.